Osteoporosis and your teens. Osteoporosis is a threat for 44 million Americans, and believe it or not, the best time to combat that threat comes during the teenage years. 90% of a woman's bone mass is accumulated by the time she's 18. Now we're going to show you the difference between a healthy bone and low density bone. Joining us now to show us what you can do to protect your teen's bones is GMA medical contributor, Dr. Marie Savard. Thank you, Marie. I know you are so passionate about this. 85% of teens not getting the calcium they need. That's right. And calcium, think of it, is the building block that actually lays the foundation for your bones for a lifetime. But imagine by the age of 18, mm -hmm. you've really accumulated all the bone just pretty much that you're going to have. By age 30, it's over. We start losing. So I think we need to emphasize for kids the importance of calcium and vitamin D. As it turns out, vitamin D, we've heard a lot about it, yeah. but it's important to increase the absorption. So without the calcium, so without the vitamin D, you're not going to get that calcium either. Both of them build that strong foundation for a lifetime. So what do parents do? What do they do to help out their teens? I would say the single most important thing to do for your teens are to have them eat a healthy breakfast. So often kids drink a soda, they skip breakfast, get a little quick mm -hmm. snack. Think about the really important things. Calcium and vitamin D, they can get calcium in two or three glasses of milk a day, cereal, fortified cereal, yogurt, other dairy products. Breakfast is really starts the foundation to build those bones for a lifetime and get the kids in the habit. Helps their brain thinking sure. at school, helps their waistline in the long run too. How about physical activity? That is important. Actually, we recommend that young kids get up to 60 minutes a day. And trust me, most young teens are not doing that. That's right. What they need is to tug on their bones. The more you tug on your bones through running, jogging, I would argue even carrying some of those heavy backpacks, not mm -hmm. too heavy, mm -hmm. builds the strong bones. Get these kids active. They just, they're sitting in front of the TV looking at the video games, not tugging on the bones in the places they need to really build that strong mass again for the future. And what about supplements? Uh, do you recommend that? This is one time supplements can make a big difference. L young kids sometimes have an allergy to milk products and dairy products. Sometimes they have GI intestinal effects from it. So if your child is not able to get enough calcium and vitamin D, talk to your doctor about supplements. They need around 1,300 milligrams of calcium mm -hmm. a day again and about 200, some experts think even a lot more, of vitamin D a day. Supplements do work when it comes to replacing calcium and vitamin D. There's a lot of good ones out there. Mm -hmm. Find something that works, but still include that, that healthy breakfast as well. I know you're receiving an award tomorrow for your work on uh, osteoporosis and prevention and, and education. Explain why this is so important again. about it, It's our foundation. It, it is. I mean, women, I take care of a lot of older women who are worried about being frail and disabled with a bone fracture. And those women, if they only had that opportunity when they were young girls to build strong bones in the first place, mm -hmm. we would prevent those future complications later on. It's loss of independence that women worry so much about. And we can teach our young girls, I think, how to develop these habits for a lifetime. That young age really matters. And, and it's actually the National Osteoporosis Foundation mm -hmm. that's awarding this to me. And I, I'm, I have to say, their work and encouraging people like myself to really get the word out I think right. is so important. Well, it's a worthy award for you. Thank you, Marie. Thank you. I know, again, that this is, this is one of your passions, and rightfully so. And you can read more on abcnews.com.